Hello, welcome back to the channel. And today we're starting a totally new series. I'm calling it Common Faults and Fixes. And I'm gonna go through all the things that I'm seeing every day on the driving range, common mistakes that all golfers are making. And we'll see if we can't find some simple fixes. Today I'm talking about leg work. Back in a sec. I think you could probably call this the biggest fault in amateur golf. And the reason I'm calling it the biggest fault is not necessarily it's gonna have the biggest effect, although it has a massive effect on your golf swing, but it's the most common mistake in amateur golf. I think the reason that people are making this mistake is their fascination with the golf ball. The little golf ball down there just looks so difficult to hit and you've got this strange golf club with which you're supposed to move it hundreds of yards down the fairway in a straight line. And it's just a little bit difficult for your intellect to understand how in the world it's ever gonna do that. So what happens is that you'll prioritize. Intuitively, you say to yourself, well, in order to hit that, I, not a, not, I shouldn't be moving around too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the bottom of my body still and I'm gonna swing it with my arms. And so this is why we see an awful lot of these swings where there's all kinds of kind of chicken wings and things going on. And it's all basically down to the unfortunate decision that you shouldn't be moving your lower body. Unfortunately, this is the worst thing you can do. And that for a number of reasons. First of all, if you think about what you're actually trying to do, which is move the golf club backwards and forwards through the golf ball, then you're gonna have to do that with help of your shoulders. Your shoulders have got to turn because your arms are simply not capable of doing it without them. Your shoulders, however, are connected to your hips over your spine, and that means that if your shoulders are gonna turn, your hips are gonna have to turn and your hips are connected to the ground by your feet and your legs. And if your legs don't move, then your hips can't move. And I think this is a lot of the problem that we're actually seeing in, in golf is that people are desperately trying to actually turn their hips without moving their legs, which is why you've got to be okay with movement of your legs. It's what I call stability through mobility basically trusting your body to be able to keep you over the golf ball, to keep you moving around a central axis and still moving quite dynamically and athletically with your lower body and legs. One of the reasons that this is also important is the communication between your brain and the muscles in your body. Your brain is basically reliant on the feedback from the muscles to tell it whether the, the movement it's doing is correct and whether the movements it's asked for has actually been completed so that it can go on to the next movement. And it's getting that with a communication through your spine, through your, your central nervous canal. And that is basically sending feedback in the form of pressure, and changes of weight, changes of pressure with the ground is communicating with your brain and telling you more or less where you are in any given moment in your golf swing. Holding your legs still and basically cementing them to the ground is basically cutting off this communication. It means that although you are swinging your arms like a devil, your brain's still not quite sure where you are in the swing and when the ball's about to turn up in it. And that means that if you are trying to get a little bit better timing and a little bit better rhythm into your body, it's all dependent on your brain being able to track where you are in the swing so that it knows when the ball is likely to turn up in the swing as well. Long story, but a short point, you've got to move your legs when you're swinging a golf club. 
I've shown you this before, how to move your legs, but I'm going to show you it again. A simple drill for your legs, hands on your hips, bend your knees. As you turn to the right, first of all, keeping your knees bent, but at the end of the rotation, allowing your trail knee to straighten, your lead knee to bend a bit. This will allow your, the pressure which moves over to your trail side to move back to the middle and even slightly more into the lead side, putting pressure on the balls of your lead foot. There is then a breaking of the knees, a twisting of the trail foot away from the target, a pressing of the lead foot back and the lead hip out of the way before going into an extension on a complete rotation to the target or even to the left of the target as a right-handed golfer. This movement is going to actually create the feeling of a wave of your pelvis sinking and coming up, sinking and coming up. And as this wave is created and you start hitting the golf ball at exactly the same point in the wave, your brain is able to track the movement, anticipate impact, and you won't even have to look at the golf ball and you will know where it is in your swing. This is the communication I'm talking about and this is one of the reasons that moving your legs is so important. It is the straightening of one leg and the dipping of the other which is helping you to stay in the middle. It's the bending of the knees which is loading the ground and giving you the power in your golf swing. It's the extending of your legs which is whipping the hips around, creating more speed for your shoulders, your arms and your hands and generating speed in the swing. All of these things are being created by the way that your legs and hips work with the ground. The worst thing you can do is to hold them like a couple of tree trunks and try and swing with your arms. That was the first one. Hope you liked it. If you did as ever, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Big, big thanks to all of my patrons. If you'd like to become a patron and support the site, I shall leave a link below. As ever, have a good one. We'll be back very soon with the next one.